Welcome to another edition of Walking It In with Deb and Pear. I'm Deb. I'm Pear. And today we're going to bring you the real estate report for the week ending July 31st, 2021. It was not too interesting of a week as we see inventory is still gradually going back down. The sales prices are gradually easing as inventory heads into a normal cycle for this time of year. As we get into fall, you would expect the inventory to go down once school starts and start to get a little bit cold over the winter and heat up back up again in the spring and it looks like that might be happening as far as the indicators go it looks like the market is starting to normalize well that's good news it's been bad news for renters as you know there was a moratorium an eviction moratorium over the last year and a half while that's not the end of the world there was also legislation which prevented landlords from increasing the rents And because of that, what we're seeing now in some areas, in particular Spokane, rents in some cases have gone up as much as 8% a month. And in some instances, it's expected to double. Now that landlords are going to start jacking up the price to make up for all that time, they weren't able to. And then some. And then some. And the ones doing this, by the way, are the corporations. They are not the the mom-and-pop landlords. They're the major property management companies that own hundreds and thousands of properties. If you are not in your own home, inventory is low. It might take you a few months to find a house. One thing you can be sure of, that mortgage isn't going anywhere. Your lender can't decide they're going to raise your payment all of a sudden for no reason. And whatever you pay into it, you get back out of it. And there's nothing more secure than that. That's true. That's one of the many advantages of having a, a home. Now, in Washington, Governor Inslee did extend that eviction moratorium through the end of September. And that is to allow time for rental assistance applications to be processed and the money to be divvied out. It's a complicated process, apparently. And if you are in a situation where you do need rental assistance, the time to get your application in is now. It's There's a long list, and you need to get that done before September if you want to avoid being evicted. And if you are looking for a home right now, or if you have a home on the market, how do you feel about cameras, (laughs) spy cameras? I often tell my clients when I show them a house that you, you never know if there could be cameras in there. You don't necessarily know, I don't look for them. However, about 36% of sellers admit to having a hidden camera installed in their home and running in their home, usually a doorbell or a security camera, in particular when there's a home showing happening, whether it be just one buyer or many. And the reasons they cited for this, the the biggest reason was so they could hear what buyers liked and disliked about the home. That's what they say. It's not necessary. I know what my client light when I see the home and I am smart and if I have time and I always try to respond to the survey about tell the agent what I liked and didn't like about the home. But the other reason and this is a really big reason why you want to be careful what you say in a seller's home. A seller will use information they gain from the camera as an advantage in negotiations. Which is really unfair. So do not talk about your transaction, your money, your situation, how much you like the house. You can say if you like it. Don't overdo anything and just be very careful. You don't want to give away any clues that are going to get you kicked in the butt in the negotiations. The people that are most likely to use these spy cams are Gen Zers. I'm not sure what a Gen Zer is. 
I, I know they're younger. Are they younger than millennials? Uh, I don't know. Or older than millennials? I don't know. They're, they're young, though. I would figure they would be young because I think the older generation isn't into spy cameras or setting up all the technology, etc. It doesn't make sense that they would be that into that. Unless it's my generation. Your That's a Gen X. Is that Gen X? I don't know. Congress is trying to take a fee that they charge on FHA applications. They use this to help pay for the, the subsidies for the, the FHA, and they are considering increasing that or extending it, but instead of using it for housing, they want to use it for this restructuring package they have, which has nothing to do with housing. I totally oppose that. I do too. You can't mix two different programs. A program designed to help people get into a home and create housing security should not be used to fund infrastructure. No, that's wrong. Yeah, it's just the scraping of the iceberg. They're going to, if they do that, they'll continue to do more and more stuff like they'll that. They'll start digging out of everything, and this and is it'd not... Be eventually be impossible to buy a house. And I just see that also leading them to, to raping other budgets as well. Well, they, already, services, they already do and that. And they already do that. They already raped the post office. The Social Security. Yeah, the post office. Yeah. One message I want to leave you with today. Rentals are going to skyrocket. Come this spring, you're going to see your rent go up if you're renting. You want to start considering buying a home now. It's really not difficult. It's easier than you think. And the best way to get started is to call myself or a parent or a realtor or a loan officer that you're comfortable with. But get that started today. Don't use the online tools, please. Don't. There's different <laughs> options. I mean, for example, if you have good good credit and you probably can go zero down have a seller pay most of the closing costs get in very comfortably the biggest thing is if you use the online tools and you put your money in there and see how much house you can afford you're going to get a ton of spam a ton of loan officers calling you it's a, a scraper for leads it's better to call someone in person and talk to them that you respect and houses you can see what's out there by looking at zillow short but you need to talk to parents to know which house you can buy or how much house you can afford. But the time to think about that's now. If you're renting, you're really in a hot situation, potentially. That wraps up Locking It In's Real Estate Report for the week ending July 31st, 2021. Thank you. See you next week. <laughs>